Hey guys, this is Ryan from TheTechTapple.com and iOS 6 Beta 2 was released today to developers on the Developer Center and an over-the-air update as you see right here. And I'm going to be going over some of the new features today. So let's go ahead and click Download and Install. Agree. Uh, continue. And then right here, this is the very first new thing that I noticed about iOS 6. This was actually an iOS 6 Beta 1 update. You see here, they kind of have the icon spinning. That was not like that before in iOS 5. This is a Beta 1 future because a Beta 2 is not yet downloaded. It's currently downloading. And now after about a 20 minute update over the air for iOS 6 Beta 2, I am finally updated and I'm going to be going over many of the little updates that have come with this beta 2. They aren't too huge. There are a ton of bug fixes and then there are very few little features to add on. The first one happens to be in the photo and camera settings page in the applications. If you notice here there is a new menu called share photo streams. You're going to be if you turn it on you're going to be able to create photo streams to share with other people and you're even going to be able to subscribe to other people's shared photo streams. And if we also head on over to the Photos application, you're going to be able to go up top to the photo stream, click plus, and you're going to be able to add people to certain album photo streams. So let's say I wanted to add someone. I type my email in here, right there, and I can name a photo stream. Let's say its name is Ryan. Uh, in public website, you're going to be able to view the photo streams online at iCloud.com. We're going to turn that on and click create. Now anyone that you add to this photo stream is going to be able to see your photos. So if you add your mom and dad, your friends and everyone, and you add all their emails, they're going to be able to see all the photos in your stream if they um, go ahead and go and look at it. So if I add a photo here, click done, they're going to be able to see that photo now. Anyone can see that photo that's in the list. Now if you wanted to go back and you wanted to edit your photo stream, you can go ahead and click on it. You're going to be able to edit and add people to it. So you can add all your friends' emails and stuff and they're going to be able to access it as long as they have an iCloud account. And the next updated feature also does again come in the Photos application. If I go ahead and click on a photo, go ahead and click the sharing button. You're going to notice there is a Twitter icon there. I don't believe it was in the last update, but it is now in here. And the Twitter icon is updated. This is the unreleased Twitter icon that is supposed to come in the next updated Twitter for iOS. The next update is also related to Twitter. If I go ahead and open Siri, send a tweet. What would you like your message to say? You're going to notice a brand new Twitter tweet sheet right here. This is brand new, was it in iOS 6 beta 1? And you're going to be able to tweet just like you did before. This next update pertains to the calendar and it brings some Mountain Lion Mac OS features over. So say you have an event set. Now it's going to put the event inside of your notification center just like it would on Mountain Lion and it's going to give you the exact time. So it's saying 8.05 to 9.05. Before it didn't say that, it just said we had an event today, it didn't list what time. So I thought that was a pretty neat feature. The next update are these smart banners that they actually went over during the keynote a couple weeks ago. When you go to a website, they're now going to be able to have these banners up here that you can just click to view the application inside the app store. And the app page will open just like that. And if you are on a device that uses a cellular connection, you're going to now be able to FaceTime over 3G or 4G. The specific toggle in the settings of iOS 6 Beta 1 was not working, but it seems to be working in Beta 2 according to sources. Also, the Passbook application on the iPhone is updated with much more information on the splash screen. They give you information on the boarding passes, tickets, store cards, and coupons. For now, those are the biggest updates on iOS 6 Beta 2. I know they were nothing huge, but that was the very first beta. If we do hear anything more about updates on iOS 6 Beta 2, we will make sure to update you. So just stay tuned, subscribe to me, like this video, comment, tell me what you think. So anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video.